What's going on everybody? Welcome out to CNA Customs. My name is Tayson and today we're going to be reviewing the Yes Wilder MIG 205 DS. So before I start the unboxing of this welding machine, I want to make it clear I am not affiliated with Yes Welder in any way, shape, or form. I paid full price for this and so you can expect my full and honest review. So before I get to the machine, I want to cover all the stuff that comes in the box first. So firstly, we've got the 220 to 110 adapter, so you can run off either power. Uh, what I believe is a roll of some form of Teflon tape, a knurled roller, two extra O-rings down on the bottom. Uh, right here is a settings chart, and then on the back side is going to be your operator's manual. So that's all that fun stuff that we will look at later once we get to the machine. So this, um, pretty mediocre at best, but it's your wire brush and I believe this is your chipping hammer. If this is your first welding machine and it's your first time doing any uh, welding, this will suffice just fine. However, I would recommend upgrading pretty quickly off, off this. Next, we've got our gas line. Just standard gas line right here we've got the MIG stinger so I actually really enjoy this stinger uh, fits very comfortably in your hand especially with welding gloves very responsive trigger here is your nozzle and if I go ahead and unscrew that real quick I'll just show you the contact tips so there's your contact tip it comes with one pre-installed as well as two extra. One is a 0 0.03, one's a 0 0.035. Next, we've got our work lead and our ground clamp. Standard, uh, feels pretty high quality, honestly. This is some sort of rubberized, I'm assuming rubberized plastic right here. So that, that's all right. Here we've got the clamp for your uh, stick electrodes or I believe you can do carbon art cutting with this as well. Now to the machine. Hey, editing Tayson here. The one thing I actually forgot to mention, this machine is capable of obviously doing MIG and stick because the stinger and the electrode are included. However, it's also capable of doing lift TIG. Um, that is not included. You have to buy that separately, but it is possible. However, um, it is not compatible with a foot pedal for TIG. So there's that. Hope you guys are enjoying so far and I'm gonna send you back out there to the shed. So when I first ordered it, I worried it would feel, I, <laughs> I always made the joke, it looks like a little Tykes toy with the color scheme and all that kind of stuff. It just looks, it looks like a toy. However, once I got it and actually laid my hands on it, I can say it, it feels fairly high quality. It's a metal case. In here is where your wire sits and obviously your drive roller with your tensioner right there. Solid sturdy handle on top, which is nice. We're gonna come down here. So you've got your different plugs, positive, your negative, you've got this. So that's all fun and good. Now up to the controls. I actually really enjoy this control setup. So you've got this lid and then you can go through, you can change your settings, your different gas, wire feed. Um, these are your basically your purge buttons. This will select your different uh, wire thickness. And then if I can zoom in over here, so you can see 2T or 4T. Uh, 2T is basically you pull the trigger, it goes. 4T is more of a, a toggle switch. So you pull the trigger and it'll go until you pull the trigger again. Sorry about that, the video got cut off by a phone call. But as I was saying, these buttons are how you change your different settings and all that. All right, so I went ahead and flipped the machine around to the back. As you can see, you've got your standard uh, power cable, your on off switch, and then your gas line. And also there's the vent for the uh, cooling fans. So this little diagram on the back will show you your different duty cycles for your different amperages. And so that'll come in handy. The one thing I like most about this machine is it is very small and light. 
it probably only weighs about 20 to 30 pounds at the most and as you can see i have it sitting on just a standard old uh computer desk that i have and this these legs are actually broken and as you can see it supports the welding machine no issue at all all right it is a few hours later and there's a few more things i want to talk about before i wrap this video up and the first of which is wire so this did not come with any wire on its own already from the company so i went ahead and i ordered some of this i'm using flux core because i don't want to have to deal with um, a gas cylinder another thing is despite it coming with two extra contact tips one of each size i went went ahead and ordered a complete kit of consumables my only complaint is that the side of the bag ripped open right there so i have to keep it in its own ziploc bag just to not get you know all these little contact tips everywhere but this all together, the wire and the extra consumables was only an additional probably 20, 25 bucks. That's not too bad. Something I did that you guys might be interested in is I printed out this reference sheet. Because this is a made in China machine, a lot of the uh, measurements and the sizes in, in here are all in millimeters. If you're a stupid American and you wanna use you know these measurements, then this reference sheet I will link in the description below. It's super handy. For example, I will be using 0.035 on most likely quarter inch steel. So I'll want to run about that amperage setting. So an extremely helpful reference sheet that I will link in the description for you guys. So besides my one small complaint, just with that rip in the bag, I'm really excited to try out this welder. Uh, I will pick up some steel sometime this week and then for next week's video, I will uh, actually test it out, see how it lays a bead, see how the penetration is, and then I will let you guys know. And so if you guys wanna see the actual review rather than just the unboxing, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications so that next week when I post the welding video, you guys will be notified and you can check that out. If you enjoyed this unboxing, make sure to hit like, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.